you mentioned the new CBA. Um, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of activity um, mm. the next year here because what's happened is, is that a lot of these rules um, – that are going to come in place don't come in place until next off season. So basically the league is saying, you know, get your house in order, right? Get your finances in order. Get We'll give you a one year pass basically to get everything in order here. So you could be seeing, it's going to be a lot harder for teams to make trades um, next, uh, next off season. That's why I think like outside of maybe some of these smaller market teams, like the Indiana's and OKC and the, and the Utah's world, I think the Knicks are sitting in a perfect spot, mm. perfect spot because they have everything, you know, a, the next disgruntled all-star, whether it be, you know, we'll see what happens in Portland with Damian Lillard and certainly Carl Anthony Towns and Minnesota players like that. You've got all the draft picks. As we said, you've got controllable contracts. You've got young players here. You kind of check the boxes as far as it's similar to what we saw last year when they went through with Cleveland, I mean, uh, with uh, Utah, with, with yeah. Donovan. Um, so it's a matter of like, how much are you willing to give in then? Like, that's always the big thing. Like, how much are you willing to kind of push in to still have that flexibility? Because the days of having three players on max contracts are over. Mm. Like, it, it's like you're, you're not going to be able to do that anymore, especially if you don't have draft picks here. And I think with New York, with Brunson, Barrett, Randall, three guys making less than $28 million here, you kind of have a lot of those sweet spot contracts here. So for me, it's just a matter of how much restraint you have, right? Like, yeah. I don't know if Embiid will be become available. I think that's maybe a year from now. We'll right, see what happens right. in, in Philadelphia here. Lillard is interesting just because, you know, last night I thought Portland was going to team that was going to win the lottery. <laughs> I really did. I thought, folks, here it is, folks, right? Folks, here, yeah, here yeah. it comes, you know. Yeah. And he could, Now it's like, all right, what do you do with the third pick in a draft? Can you try to upgrade and move that pick for something to, you know, we see Scoot Henderson as the name there, but does that mm -hmm. make sense with Lillard and Simons already? Um, there's always somebody out there, right? There's, oh, I mean, listen, the wizards don't have a general manager as we speak. I would say if, if, if you want to move Bradley Beal, like this is your window to do it. Mm. Like this is your, you, if you don't do it by next, by next off season, it makes it extremely harder here. Mm. So that's certainly a name like, you know, but it's a big number, you know, it's, yeah. It's yeah. three years, $200 million left on his contract here. So there's, as I said, there's always going to be one or two names floating about. I mean, this is why the pre-draft camp out here, this is kind of where everything starts, right? This mm. is where like the traction is. But as I said, like the New York Knicks are in prime position. Like they're in prime position with, with everything. You know, they're up there with, you know, Utah and, and San Antonio and teams that have all these draft assets here. But if, um, you know, if they want to go out and try to get that guy that does become available, I just think it's a matter of like, how much are you willing to kind of, give you know give and can you still hold on to something for somebody you know somebody else out there yeah true indeed i'm also looking at the clipper situation what does balmer want to do with that team could a guy like a paul george potentially shake loose i don't know if that's a next year thing or this year but it'll be interesting to that's see what a great name that's a great name and it's interesting with the clippers because they've got that brand new arena that's going to start right. in 24 25 right. right like it's right. like yeah. the, the worst perfect storm for them they've got They've got this new arena. The tease of when these both when both players are on the court, they're I think they're a championship level team. But we've yeah. only seen that what like forty percent of the time over the last four years. Yeah. And both guys are extension eligible this off season. So um, are you willing to kind of extend long term here? Um, so those are yeah, those are two other good names.